Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yo, yo, yo. It's Free Not Woke. Episode three, Free Not Woke. I'm Marcus. I'm Coda. Yes, you already sir, know. Ski. And um, today we're going to be talking about the Johnny Depp, Amber Heard trial, yep. the defamation case. Yep. It's like everywhere. It's on every news outlet, pretty mm-hmm. much. It's go- they're going live on YouTube. I think they live right now. They live right now? I think this is Damn, live I gotta, right now. Damn, I got to watch that. Yeah. You know, like, honestly, that's been, it's been, like, one of the most interesting things mm-hmm. to come out. Mm-hmm. And I feel like because it's, it's such a pivotal moment in history, you mm-hmm. know, where it's like, yo, a man is taking a woman to court for defamation for yeah. her because she lied mm-hmm. and she said that he was physically and sexually abusive to her right. when right. the whole time... She was the one abusing him. Mm-hmm. So I feel like it's a it's a pivotal moment in history, especially like after the Me Too movement and everything. Like, and it's just crazy, yo. What's your take? I feel like this situation is gonna shed light on something bigger that we don't talk about. Mm-hmm. Basically women, and, and I don't, it's not all women, we know this, but this is a good example of a woman coming out, making claims on a man and everybody just running with it, believing it. Right. And we like we talked about on our very first episode, cancel culture. We don't know the truth. Mm-hmm. We won't. We don't know. And everybody took us out because that's what we're taught as a society. Believe the woman, no matter what. And now six years later, Johnny Depp is in court taking her, uh, uh, you know, for defamation to his name because these claims are not true. Right. And it took six years just for him to get this. But would a stain come off? No. Will it come off? No. This Yo, is a part of his career now. One of the things I remember from the first time I was watching, he said, Yo, this is something that I'm going to live with forever. This is something that has affected me like so much, you know? And you, it could tell, you could tell just watching him. Like, imagine this man had already had mental health issues prior to, to this whole thing, mm-hmm. you know? And now he has to deal with the world calling him. You know, uh, an abuser and a this and a that, you know? So, yo, there's, there's a lot to unpack from this whole thing, bro. Right. Like, it's not even, it, there's so many layers to it. And it's still you going on. More information yeah. still coming out. But what we do know is that she wasn't just blameless in this relationship. And he, he wasn't just a monster that just, yeah. listen, bro. This Johnny, that's Johnny uh, Listen, it's, it's crazy, bro. What it's we crazy. do know is she shit on his bed. She, that's some shit. <laughs> she shit. Yo, to Yo, shit on that's somebody do bed, know. bro. You gotta really hate these bro, people, bro. I think that's more than hate. That gotta be deeper than hate. You feel me? That's some to shit on shit. somebody's bed, you gotta just be sick. Yeah. Like you just gotta be sick. Like that's some sick shit. Oh, like she ate some like, bad food. She was sick. Man. She nah, she shitting I mean, all like, over the place. Yo, I mean like nah, that was concentrated shit. That all was right, focused. Bro. You know, that was she was ready Real for quick that. To get immature, you know, <laughs> to get immature. You think but, uh, it was like a quit. You think it was like she thought this out, or she just like I got a shit. I'm shit. Like, dude, nah, nah, nah. She had to plan it out because she had it, she had to make sure she ate the right thing. So it was a solid piece. She of had. Shit. She like listen. You know what I mean? It's time. Yeah, she was. She had a nice little burger. Mm. You know. <laughs> <laughs> Not a burger. Hold on. She, had a, she waited tough. a few hours, like six hours or whatever. Yeah, she's like, yeah, that's she nice that and good. Out. She's like, yeah, this shit's solid. This shit gonna be solid, uh-huh. you know? And shit on his bed. Did they find like, tissue? <laughs> I think she used her hand. Nah, oh, I think man, she used a her clean white. It was a clean white. One top, boom, out of there. That's crazy. That's disgusting. That's disgusting, bro. It's evil. Oh my god. No, no, we got it for real though. Like. This yeah, just yeah. shows somebody who came out saying, yo, he's this, he's that. For you to do that, it's, you're not just like so scared and so... That's that's another level, bro. I think we all can, can agree on that. We we can definitely agree on that. But that's not even the only thing she did. You know mm-hmm. what I mean? Like, she chopped his finger off. You know? Damn. Like, his, his the, the, the point of his finger, like the tip of his finger, she chopped that shit off. That shit came off. The, um, the butler found it. And it's proven she yeah, did it. It's proven that she did it. Yeah, By throwing, he, she was he throwing said, shit at He him. said that she, yeah, she threw a bottle at him. And that get broke and like cut off his finger. Mm-hmm. You know, but she like she put the restraining order on him after she made the abuse claims. Yeah. And then showed up at his um hotel, bro. Like <sighs> basically said, I love you, I love you, blah, blah, blah. And he's like, yo, you don't love me. He's like, what more do you want from me? Mm-hmm. You feel me? You put these 
Yes, I hear you. You said all this stuff about me. You want to take more from me, mm -hmm. you know? Yeah. And yeah, every a lot of people ran with the idea, oh yeah, Johnny is an abuser, Johnny this, Depp yeah. is this, Johnny yeah. Depp is that. So for all this stuff to come out after, I really wonder how these people feel. I think one of the most interesting things about this is that, yo, this is what happens when a toxic relationship goes too far. Mm -hmm. You stay in this shit too yeah. long? Bro, when I'm watching the trial, I, I be thinking, damn, this is just a toxic relationship. Yeah. Obviously, she's the one that was actually doing the physical abuse. Right. And I'm like, yo, this dude is just depressed and going through mad shit. And it, she seems like she's sick and also dealing with mad trauma and shit. Mm -hmm. And I'm just like, yo, bro, why are we watching this? I think the main, my, that's my main, like, that's one of my main thoughts is like, why are we watching this shit? This situation should show people if you're in a relationship that you feel is not working, mm -hmm. you're not happy on a daily basis, you arguing more than you in luck, you need to let it go. Because this way, at some point, they like Wait. each other. At some point. At some point. And At now look point. where it went because they both were not mentally whatever. And she, and now it's in front of everybody's eyes. On a, He probably never thought it would get this far. Right. right. And to, to think now I'm in court with somebody who I used to lay in bed with. And now we at each other's throats on some... You know, so if you're in a relationship, man or woman... Bro, don't stay where you're not happy. Right, right. I know it seemed hard, like, damn, I got to start over. No, Don't yeah. stay, bro. I it's think time to go. There was a point where he was trying to leave the relationship, mm -hmm. and she shows up, and she's like, why are you doing this to me? What? And she's recording the whole time. She even, at some point, she was like, oh, you're just pushing me into the corner. You just, she started saying certain yeah. things to sound like abuse. Yeah. And trying to frame, yeah, trying to trying to frame, frame it a frame, certain yeah, way. Yeah. Like, Yo, and it made me realize that people, this is what people do. Mm -hmm. When they, when they on their last leg, when they're hurt, when they're very emotional, yeah. like they get to that point where they will do anything. They're desperate. They will, they're yeah. desperate. They will yeah. say anything to like make you look a certain way. Because mm -hmm. it's almost like she, he wanted to break up. They broke up. Well, he wanted the divorce. Mm -hmm. And then right after that, what happened? She, she go out. and says that, says that he's a, an abuser. Sounds... Super similar. Sounds, Sounds very similar to a, a lot of situations, yeah. you know? Yeah. And now we learning that this is what happens, the, bro. Is she going to take the stand at some point? Yeah, she's she's supposed to take Ooh, the stand. I want to hear that. Bro. I want to see, because she been, to me, she been giving her best, like, sad, like, uh, uh, yeah. focused face every time the camera's on, whenever. And she just, I want to hear. Mm -hmm. You feel me? Like, I really want to hear what she has to say because yeah. this is everywhere and this is something that's like I, I think is pivotal in the time we're in now because accusations and allegations been uh, put out against men for so long like this right. and there's no really there's no real repercussions behind it it's no like you get this you get a jail time you get uh, whatever it may be it's like she felt comfortable enough to make these claims knowing they both were on some bullshit and she knows she had a bunch of bullshit she yeah. felt comfortable because there's no repercussions yeah it's a lack of accountability she know people just gonna believe her so why yeah. not no but we gotta talk about exactly what she said bro okay she said she said I basically I dare you to go in, into the world and tell them I Johnny Depp a man um, have been abused. This is by, recorded. This is re this is recorded. Ooh. Yeah, she said, like she basically said, I dare you to go to the world and tell them that you've been abused by a woman. Yeah, who's gonna believe you? And that's she how they that. really think, bro. <laughs> Yo, she said that, bro. That's and scary, that's, bro. And that's and that's how she was really thinking. So yeah, that bro. that makes me think, bro. How many other people are, you know, are bro, thinking that like happen. that? I'm telling you, this you shit know? has been. Happening for a long time. Yeah. Pe niggas done been behind, behind bars behind for bars. shit that they didn't do, or for accusation. Yeah. A domestic violence. Sometimes uh, a man could be getting abused. He called the cops. He end up going to jail. Right. I know personal stories like that from when I was a little kid. I remember shit like that happening, bro. You know. So this is real, and it's like yeah, we may talk about it like it's just in passing or just another topic, but this is a real thing that us as a people society have to address because it's dangerous. Mm -hmm. It's it's taking someone's whole livelihood, taking their whole 
image, you know, yeah, he's a superstar, but this happens to everybody. This happens to an uh, average person, you know, and then what, bro? It's like, where do you go yeah. as a man when you know you didn't do these things right. and it's just like, well, we have to believe the woman. There's no accountability. And honestly, I think, yo, bro, I think that the one of the biggest problems is that there's women out there that really feel comfortable mm-hmm. knowing that they can do that. They're like, yo, I can just... I can just say whatever I want online and people are going to believe me because I'm a woman. Yeah. You know, it's almost like everything flipped. Where it's like back in the day, they wouldn't believe women at all. Mm-hmm. You know, well, now we're in a, situ- a system where it's like believe all women. Mm-hmm. So there's some women that take advantage of that. Yeah, for and sure. And they got to be held accountable, bro. For sure. Like, you, you can't just... If you're in a relationship, if you're in a toxic relationship and you know you're... Toxic as well, and you also add into that, mm-hmm. and you're the one that's like being physically abusive. Yeah. You're you're also being emotionally and verbally mm-hmm. abusive. You have to take accountability for that. You know, Facts. everybody has to take accountability for their part for their in a toxic in relationship. Yep. You know, yep. and I and I feel like the people that actually go online and you know go to these news outlets and trying to spread a false you know mm-hmm. narrative. It's like there's no accountability, and that's a problem. Bro. That's a huge problem, bro. Because say she did, say she made these accusations, and he never he believed that. Yo, they not gonna believe me. So why would I say right. anything? Right. He could be sitting here. He that could have drove him even more crazy over the past six years if he never would have took this step. It's it's just it's like man. I, I'm trying to say it, but I'm messing up. But what I'm saying is, like, imagine if he never had the courage to really take it this far. Right. That shit could have ate at him knowing he didn't do something. Oh, no. It, it was eating at him. Yeah. It has been eating at him. Yeah. So now he's... I think that's why he got to the point where it's like, yo, I have to do this. Mm-hmm. You know? if I, He even said, I don't care how this turns out. I just want people to know the truth. You know? Because how do you live your life? How do you live your life? Look at him. He's... He's he he's who he is, yeah. bro. He's super famous. For he decades. walks in, yo. He walks into a, a, a grocery store. People know who he is. He walks into a restaurant. People know who he is. Mm-hmm. Imagine you walk everywhere you go. People know who you are, mm-hmm. and they know who you are because of uh, uh, for a bad reason. Now they you know this, and now every time you're going out, yeah. people looking at you for what you yeah. what the the for news what they, is now. For what they think you yeah, are, yeah, yeah, you know. And so, so how would that make you feel? Everywhere you go, you paranoid, you know? Yeah, it's bro. like, who knows me and who's trying to come for me and whatever. It's a, it's a bad way to live your life. And honestly, there definitely needs to be some repercussions for that, bro. Yeah. Especially if you're in a toxic relationship with somebody and y'all both got issues. Real mental issues. Y'all both yeah. really need help. Yeah. You on know? a personal level, not just right. a relationship to help you on, yeah. a, on a no. personal note. Like, just to speak on it from like, Somebody who actually went through it, mm-hmm. bro, one of the last things my ex said to me, she was like, oh, you don't got to worry. I'm not going to hit you. But sh- but if I wasn't pregnant, I would be real violent right now. Yeah. I was literally, I was on my bed. I had my hands around my knees like this. You mm-hmm. feel me? Or sitting on my bed. Yeah. Because she was yelling at me. Yeah. And in that moment, I was like, yo, I felt, I feel so helpless. You know, because she looked like she was about to hit me. Yeah. And so I'm like jumping. Every time she makes a sudden yeah. movement, I'm like, I'm like that, right? Yeah. And she literally says to me, and I'll never forget the words. She said, you don't got to jump. Don't worry. But if I wasn't pregnant, mm-hmm. I would be real violent right now. And in that moment, I was like, yo, what's, what's happening? And later that day, she on Twitter claiming that she was abused by me. Mm-hmm. So it's like... This really happens where they do these things and they feel like there's they no feel way. Entitled it's, like, yeah, I'm, they, they're like there's no there's no me. way that this is gonna come back on me. Yeah. You feel me? They really some of them really feel like that. Even Amber you know? Heard right now, I don't know that she thinks when this is done, this does anything to her. Like yeah. we know she's lying about a oh, lot of shit. She's done, now. bro. She's done. But I'm saying though, yeah. she's done. She gets to just still live and yeah, go yeah. freely. Yeah, yeah. If it was the other way around, he would be looking at potential jail time. Yeah, if these definitely. accusations were true. Were true. Yeah, right, right. Exactly. So exactly. Even in this moment, in exactly. this series, she still know 
whatever. I'm just good. I could go lay low. I'm. She's not thinking about. Oh, I'm gonna get locked up behind this shit. Right. She's definitely not thinking like that. She's and that's the not. part that needs. To, if people had that type of, you know, like thing above their heads. Of, oh, let me not make no accusations because they'll check and I could get locked up. Mm-hmm. This shit wouldn't happen all the time. Just right. so freely with anybody. Women mm-hmm. wouldn't be filled and uh, uh, feel comfortable enough to tell him. Oh, you a man, go tell the public. Or your ex right. telling you, oh, don't worry, I ain't going to hit you again. But if I wasn't, pray, I'd be real violent. Imagine she had a recording of you saying that. Right, That's right. done. It's over It'll for be you. Over. It'll Yo, be over. Yo, you lucky you pregnant. If you wasn't, I'd be violent. It's done for you. Right. It's done. You know what I'm saying? That's real. And that's, that's, real. that's the sad part. It's not to shame women. It's not to no. shame victims. Like, it's not to do any of that. It's to make the truth come to light, man. Like... Yo, you know what it is though? It's like these are men's stories, bro. Mm-hmm. It's like, and I think for so long, just how women have been not believed, yeah. men's emotions have been put to the back burner. It's like as if we don't have any, you know? People don't care. It's like I know, but it's like, yo, bro, I I've felt so much. I consider myself like a sensitive man, mm-hmm. you know? I make music. Like I put my heart into my music. Yeah. And I feel like for a lot of my life, I haven't been able to express that same way in real life, you know? And that was a big part of my healing process is realizing that I not only, I have to live just the way I express myself in my music, I have to express myself in real life to the people I love, to my friends, everything. I have to be I have to be that way. I can't just express myself in the music mm-hmm. and think that I could just like um be mad closed off in my personal, personal life, life, you know? Yeah. But sometimes I feel like as a man, like that's the only the only way to get out my emotions was through my music because mm-hmm. it's like it's not accepted, yeah. you know. You don't fully in my know how to life. deal with it. Yeah, you don't you don't really know how to deal with your emotions in real life because nobody really taught you that. Yeah, and that's why even to this day when I make music, I feel like I feel like it's coming from a different place. Mm-hmm. Like when I'm in my music mode. It's, it's like a different part of my brain almost, you yeah. know? And when I'm in real life, it's hard to express myself in conversation a lot of times, yeah. you know? And I'm it's something I'm still working on. Yeah. And I feel like this this situation, like this Johnny Depp situation is really showing that. It's like, yo, men's mental health matters because mm-hmm. we really be struggling and people really take advantage of that. Mm-hmm. Like Johnny Depp was really struggling with his mental health and she was recording him at every turn. Yeah. Damn near recorded the whole relationship she secretly. Pl- and that she, show, was been, she was plotting. Bro, she was been plotting on him while they were together. And I know how that feels. Yeah. For you to be with a woman, going on vacation, meeting your family, mm-hmm. hanging out there. Every and the whole time, them. and the whole time she's recording conversations of whatever she feels like. Recording this argument, recording that argument. Yeah. Trying to make it seem a certain way. I feel like that's that's a, that's a mental illness right. and that's sick. And all these things need to be addressed. And one thing I do I do want to say is that I don't believe in the Amber Heard like bashing. I don't believe in bashing Amber Heard. Yeah. Like I understand that Johnny Depp, you know, he he got his abuse and like people really came for him on the internet and mm-hmm. they shamed him. Mhm. I understand that because I've felt that same way. But I feel like we just need to stop the shaming altogether yeah. and like really start healing just as people, bro. Like both of them need therapy, you know? And they, they need it for their indiv- yeah, for, them for themselves individually. Yeah, they need it for themselves, yeah. you know? So it's just like the canceling people is not going to get you anywhere. It makes it worse. You know? It's like when you shame somebody so much online and they see all that shit, you think that's going to help them get better? Mm-hmm. And so if if helping them is not the motive, then what's the motive? <laughs> you know? If helping people is not the motive, then what's your I motive? I think people just want to have something to say. Yeah. And they want to pile on. They want to be a part of the crowd that's, hey, we did this and we told you and this is wrong. But a lot of these same people who are talking, they doing them shit. They doing the same shit themselves. They're meaning they're in... in relationships or they're doing things where they're not taking accountability right. people are not perfect mm-hmm. but when you online they want you to be perfect they want you to right. because it gives them a sense of like yeah they doing it the right way they do you're not the ju- you're not the jury guys this is this is not what that is bro cancel right. culture all of that shit is too fast 
too snap judgment and then how many times we see the people they cancel they come right back to life and everybody love them again you know what i'm saying like right. people want to cancel my boy the baby every time you turn around for some shit he was just in the news another the baby incident mm -hmm. and i bring that up only because i like the baby mm -hmm. as a rapper and just like well, kind yeah. of what he stand yeah. on you feel me yeah. but from the beginning he came out with the same type of shit and now the same way he's been People are not liking him. That's, it's not about him. It's about how the internet, yeah. how people switch their perception because, oh, a few people said it. Now it's time to cancel him. Oh, we love Johnny Depp, but this come out, it's time to get rid of him. Now, they was just all Amber Heard fans for the past few years. Now this information come out. Now it's time to get rid <laughs> of her. Right, and right. like you said, it's not just a, a situation that's applied to him. This could go to anybody. We have to fix it because... What's the real solution in this shit right, right. here? How right. we really, what we really getting to right here? They yeah. both needed help. And if they would have been taught, get out of that shit, it right. would have never went as far. And get that help. But now it's like two people going through something even more traumatic, a bigger, mm -hmm. you know, worse now experience. They, they, they more they're both jaded in now. Court. Yeah, they more jaded now, yeah. both of them. Now they're both in court. And they got to look at each other. Yeah. And honestly, and like you said from the beginning, somebody that you was you know, shared your bed with, yeah. you know, somebody that you shared so intimate many intimate times, moments. Yeah. And that's one thing that I couldn't wrap my mind around. It's like, bro, I spent so much time with this person. I've been places with this person, mm -hmm. shared everything about my life with this person, cried in front of this person, yeah. something I don't do, you know? And for them to do these things and bro, say these things gotta, about you is like That shit got to feel crazy. like the biggest betrayal ever, bro. You know, it's huge, bro. It's a huge betrayal and it takes... I be, look at him It took him six years To actually get up on his stand And you think he's over that shit One, of the, no. one of the first things he said Was I'm gonna be dealing with this For the rest of my life mm -hmm. That's one of the first things he said mm -hmm. So I just it, 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 it blows my mind But like we said In the first episode The shit is just mad toxic yeah. The culture is mad toxic and they don't even know what to do. You it's know? not. It's no solutions in cancel culture. No. It's no. all right. We get rid of you. You lose all your money, and that's yeah. it. We gonna move forward. But right. how we stop this shit from happening again? You right. saying lose everything without knowing the truth? That make people. This is gonna make people not want to come out and say shit. Right. This particular situation will make more people leave from this and say we can't just believe every time a woman talk. But it's not to not believe everything. It's just to. Take your time to understand which before you come out and say, This is done, get him out of here, get her out of here. You have to actually know what's going on. And like yeah. we've been taught from younger, it's three sides to the story. Her mm -hmm. side, his side, and, and the, the truth. truth. So right. people gotta they be so quick to take a side, nigga. You don't know the truth, bro. Right. right. You know what I'm saying? Even with what they saying, it's more shit that they not gonna say that they they know I right, they ain't gonna bring this up in court. We ain't talking about that. You know what I'm saying? Like it's just what it is. It's, yeah. it's what happens That's why people have to know If you're not Loving yourself right Or you're not in love With a person Or you're just not happy In whatever relationship Or situation you're in Move on bro Like yeah. Get away from it Because the Most important thing Is you being happy It's not about Trying to fix it With this one and that It's about you Once you're happy You're able to yeah. Affect so much change I see such a big difference Just in you Like what you're really saying Like That was a big teacher you know what i'm saying mm -hmm. and i could see it you saying i talk about it in my music but i don't always in my personal life i may be closed off this shit was like a different eye opener and mm -hmm. unfortunately it had to happen through a situation like this yeah you know what i'm saying now i feel like you know what's so crazy my situation i feel like that was the test mm -hmm. you know what i mean because i remember right before that whole thing happened mm -hmm. i was in the best place i was ever at in my life you right. know i had I began to open up. I began to like cry in front of my girl at the time. I began to show her things about myself mm -hmm. like, yo, this is why I'm like this and this is why I'm like that. Right. And I want, this is how I can be better for you and for me and right. whatever. And it's like that situation happened to really test me and to see if I'm really that, mm -hmm. you know? Mm -hmm. Because it, everything kind of like blew up in my face. So and like, it's about you. Yeah, so That's lately right. I've been watching the Johnny Depp like trial and I'm, yo, he's really the only person I relate to right now, yeah. you know, because I'm watching him and I'm like, damn, like, this is my story. You telling my story, basically, mm -hmm. of a person that is abusing you mm -hmm. 
And you telling them, yo, this is toxic. We got to stop this. We can't do this no more, right. you know? And then they do something like put all this fake information out, right. put all this one-sided information, these, right. this one-sided narrative. Oh, this is who he is, mm -hmm. and this is what he's about. Meanwhile, I'm not even the type of person that even raises his voice. I don't even raise my voice. Nah, really I don't yell. I don't yell, even yell at my kid. You know, to tell him to do stuff. I don't get mad at him. I don't get mad at people. Yeah. Really, like to the point where I want to, you know, be up in arms and shit. Yeah. So it's, it's and I look at Johnny Depp and he's like, "Yo, this is so out of my character for somebody to actually say this about me. It's crazy." It's nice, and bro. I look at him and I see a lot of men who are more of a threat to themselves than they are to the people around them. You know what I mean? Like, he's just going through a lot of shit. He's been going through a lot of shit. He's dealing with a, a, an abusive childhood, you know? And he still didn't strike Shorty. He right. still didn't strike her, you know? After being struck so many times. And I can relate to that because I've been struck by so many women. Yeah. I've been struck by, by three different women, dude. Like, and I never hit back. And we, I mean, we naturally taught not to. I know. By our mothers, too. I know. Like, you don't put your yeah. hand on no, you don't, whatever. We taught right. to defend ourselves, but to fight like you're going to fight. We, they know that, too. Exactly. It's women who know, like, she knows this type of shit. She know, like she said, you going to come out as a man? Mm -hmm. What's going to happen? Right. Who, who they going to believe, you or me? And she knows she on some bullshit. And she telling, like, yeah. it's great. That has to change. Because everything won't come to light. Everything won't be a big story like this. People going through this shit on a daily basis. And they have no, I right, let me get out. And it's like, you a man. Man, uh, leave her alone. It ain't, nigga. Niggas got emotions too, bro. Men right. have emotions, bro. Right. And sometimes it's hard to leave when you just so caught up in the toxic romance, right. bro. It makes it hard, man. Even you personally, you were saying you was in the best point of your life. Mm -hmm. And you was trying to tell her, yo, we can do this. The test was for you though. It wasn't yeah. for y'all. Yeah, it and was that for was me. Thing. That's what that, I mean. Yeah. It was for me. Yeah. It was for me. Cause I realized that the relationship wasn't going in a positive place. Mm -hmm. So I was out because you know what? I started loving myself for the first oh, time. Yeah. I started when you and that's the thing about when you love yourself and you treat yourself when you treat yourself like you love yourself, you're not just letting anybody come in your life and treat you just any way. Right. You know, when you're doing so much good for you. And, you know, your life is getting better and you're like, yo, I feel good. Mm -hmm. And, you know, you're making sure you know, your hair done right and your shoes is right and, you know, your house is right. right. And, you know, you start going out with yourself and going out to dinner by yourself and seeing a movie and mm -hmm. doing things you like to do. It's like you love yourself so much that it's like, I can't just let anybody come in and treat me bad. You know, if you're going to come into my life, you got to be treating me either just as good as I treat myself mm -hmm. or better. Yeah. You know? And that was an eye-opener for me because I stopped letting negative people in my life. And I never... And I think that was that was really where it stopped. Where it's like I just stopped associating with toxic people. Mm -hmm. And that's when your toxicity stops. That's when you stop... That's when I stopped being toxic like that. You know? It's when I realized I want good things in my life. And this is how I'm going to get it. 